So in other news, earlier today there was a rainstorm and we found this beautiful swallowtail in the yard on the grass. He was laying on the ground, not moving, and I took him and moved him gently to the milkweed garden where it's dry, where we're finding all the caterpillars. And I figured I'm gonna go out after the storm and see if he moves. And if he doesn't, we'll bring him home. And so he's here. So I'm gonna actually do a quick demo on how to pin the butterfly. And this is how we do it. Um, and we try to be true to the system the way you're supposed to do things. I probably handle them a little bit more than I should, but. So we're gonna go ahead and take him out. You can see he's got a little bit of damage to his wing right here. It's still straight, um, but there is a little bit of a bump on his wing here. So we're gonna take him out with the hair pliers here. Beautiful specimen, Mr. Swallowtail. I'm gonna just gently pick him up by his thorax and turn him over so you can see the underside. So sometimes I pin him on the underside. We'll pin it this way because we wanna actually see a comparison of the rear of the butterfly wings and then these when their wings are folded when they're feeding. Um, but he really is beautiful. He's still very pliable. Um, he's only been here for about an hour or so. You could see here sideways his probiosis, which is the long feeding tongue, is curled up and I'm uncurling it. See that? Isn't that cool? Now, if he was a, a, a little bit around a little longer, this would dry out terribly and we wouldn't be able to see it. So we're gonna put him here on the spreading board. Um, and the way you pin a bug, there's three parts to every insect. We have the head, the thorax, and then the abdomen is here in the back. This is the abdomen, this long part. And so you pin in the thorax on the right hand side. And so I'm holding him here on the bottom so as not to hurt my fingers and we're gonna just pop the needle in. Oh, you hear the little pop? And put it through. Sometimes the wings bend back when I pop it in. And now you can leave the legs curled like this or depending on how he's gonna be displayed, you can try and spread them apart and pin them apart so they dry open. So when you're staging it, it's open, but we're not gonna stage it that way. We're gonna just let them stay curled up and under. And so I'm gonna put him on, oops, gently on the pinning board. I'm just gonna move him up a little bit on the needle, there we go. And the reason I'm putting him on my um, spreading board is because I wanna spread his wings. So you can see his wings here, this is how he would look when he's resting. But it really is beautiful to see when the wings are spread all the way apart when I'm displaying him. So I'm also gonna just pop a little pin in right here because I don't like when the body moves when I'm trying to spread the wings. So I put a pin on each side. And then I have this very um, plain paper. It's a type of paper that comes with insect kits. It has no oils and nothing on it, so it's very soft. And I'm just gonna rip a little piece like this. And I have another few pieces that I've ripped earlier that I had used for spreading earlier today. And we're gonna go ahead and spread the wings. I'm gonna very gently, without pulling it, just pull this wing open very gently. Can I please have one wiener? Mateo, I'm doing a video right now. I'll be with you in a minute. Mateo. And then I'm gonna pin it here. And grab another pin and pin it here. And that's gonna be one way to spread that wing. I'm gonna pull this wing all the way up. You could see it. And of course I didn't prep my pins. And so we're gonna do a one-handed maneuver here.
and pin it on this side and pin it also on this side and that holds the paper down if I want I can also just take this up and move the wing slightly and pull it up this way to get a little bit more on the butterfly staged and again the paper helps keep the wing protected none of the powder is coming off on the wing from the wing and it holds it in position while it dries and I'm gonna leave it here for just a day or two at the bottom of my bug box I'm probably gonna adjust this one a little bit and it's okay if it moves I'm gonna just adjust a little bit that way trying to get it aligned with the other one so we have a match you can see a little bit of that black powder there that's some of the powdery substance that's on butterfly wings and I want to try to not lose that. Now we use the paper because if I pin it through the wing I'm going to make a hole in the wing and the wing will rip and then the specimen isn't any good. Um, it's going to be damaged. 